But if I told you that I love you Would you tell me that you love me back? What if I told you that I miss you? Would you tell me that you miss me back? What if I told you that I need Yo, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Boy, it's early in the morning. We still got the eye patches on. I'm about to head to actually grab coffee with Justin, Silas, and Jeremiah. We try to meet like once a week to grab coffee um, just to catch up, um, see how everybody's week is going, and basically just kind of check in with each other because you need to do that again like as men, like a safe space to kind of talk, get your feelings out and stuff like that. Obviously, um, women too should do that, but men especially, um, we like to bottle things up and things like that too. So we like to meet once a week. So we go up here to Murray Coffee, I think it's called. So yeah, I'm headed up there and your boy had to put on the eye patches because got a little couple bags underneath my eyes, you know, having a baby. It is what it is. They be having you up all night. Um, so I ain't been on too many night shifts yet, but I know it's gonna change once Taj's mom um, definitely leaves. But yeah, I think I want to talk about that too. I think people look at becoming like a parent as like a burden. Like a lot of people would be like, oh, well, when you have a kid, you know, life's over, da 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 da. I honestly feel like life's just beginning. It's a situation where you're able to help another human being shape um, and help them grow into the person that they're going to be. Obviously, they're going to make their own decisions and stuff like that. But at the same time, you're literally helping a, a human being develop and grow um, and become like a, a person, a better version of you. So I'm, I'm honestly excited about it and um, I'm looking forward to it. And I think it's like a very new chapter and a, a very new beginning of life. So when it comes to parenthood, uh, I think a lot of people should start looking at it differently because a lot of people used to comment on my Instagram, oh, wait till you have kids. Oh, wait till you have kids. Yeah, like your life is gonna, it's gonna change. Obviously, you're dealing with another human being, but it should be a fulfilling experience versus like people looking at it as like, oh, you know, life's gonna be this, this, and this is gonna be tough. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. You're dealing with a, a human being who can't take care of themselves, but you should look at it as a blessing that you're able to bring a human being into this life. Um, so obviously my life is built around routine. It's built around structure and all of those different things. And it's gonna continue to be built around that. But at the same time, you gotta make adjustments and be able to fit the baby in there. I just look at it as another challenge to just be able to execute the things that I, I wanna execute as far as running my businesses, still being able to have like a, a great life, a fulfilled life, and be able to do that at the same time while raising a child. And um, I think it's, it's something that people need to change their perspective on because it's like a comment that literally I got so many times from like people who are parents and I don't know if they're like projecting like the I guess they miss that part of them that was able to just kind of wake up and go through their day as is which I get but at the same time bro cherish your kids and understand that all you got to do is make adjustments and the reason that I work um, hard to be able to have like my freedom and my time is to be able to spend time with my daughter and like if I don't feel like going to work I don't have to go to work um, and I know everybody doesn't have that luxury, but that's what I built my life around and having that structure allows me to do that. But that is my parent rant for the day. But um, yeah, I'm about to head over here, um, grab coffee with the homies, and then I'll uh, I'll check in when I get over there and then we'll, we'll go through the rest of the day. Oh, this shit is fire. I know, right? All right, we made it to the coffee shop. You know I got my my, folks, my two drinks that Jeremiah says I don't get. I got the cream top, and I got the bonbon. Bussin'. Now look who made it here before everybody. This is the man with the plan. Look who it is. You know, I can't have people talking down to me too much. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta show that I'm worthy, you know? And of course so we on time. My, my good matcha, you know. I ain't never had coffee a day in my life. He showed up Shocking. But let me see. Who who said they showed up in eleven minutes? Jeremiah's in eleven. Jeremiah Silas has been here. up since like six. Exactly. So this uh, this guy showed up. He, what time did you work out? At five. Wow. And look what he has. 
I commended him on I'm working out that early, but then he comes here and gets this. Already, already had 300 milligrams of caffeine this morning, so I wanna. Oh, so he has an excuse. Yeah. Oh, sure. look at this guy. It's a cleaner high. Oh, look at him. Wow. What's up? Yes, I do. Good Look morning. Who it is. Hello, beautiful people. Do your intro. Are you working on your vlogging? Oh, do your what's intro. Going on? What's going on, guys? It is Thursday. We are here. Yesterday was Valentine's Day. The man right here just became a dad, and I became exactly. an uncle. And I became an uncle. Yeah. Hey, just like the, the bad boy scene. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. Let them know. Insert clip now. All right, so we uh, we finished up our coffee session. You know, deep talks today. Y'all couldn't be a part of too much. Nah, not today. You know, but what we are going to do is we're going to run it back on the go-karts because Mr. Last Place. Damn. Mr. Mr. I let him, you know, squeeze one in. Nah, but gotta, I mean. We're going to go to the bigger joint, too. We need to. Bro, the, the Formula One thing, that's in London, though. It's not. Get your passports. Form, form passport, the, passport, dude, everybody has a passport. I'm down to go I mean, back. I've now. never been to London, so I want to go. Then we're supposed to go get a, a tattoo Tuesday. on Tuesday. Oh. And then they they say they want to do a group workout at Dog Pound, and then we'll go to this recovery thing. What is it called? Uh, muscle Lab. Muscle Lab. So we're probably going to slide and do that. Um, but, yeah, that's our little plans for the week. Silas had to had to skate out early, but well, today, was, today was good. Like crack. Re-energizing. And like I said earlier, it's always good to have a weekly conversation with your boys. Gosh. Not to generalize it to just men, but again, like we said, you internalize a lot of things and it's good to just get it out and talk. Yes, sir. But at the same time, I'm still I'll gonna be, be fucking shit up and making sure that I win every race <laughs> from here on out. Cause that little split time, you got lucky, bro. Whatever you gotta tell yourself, Carlos. Yeah, hey. I ain't gonna argue with you. Hey, whatever it is, bro. And he was the last one today. I know. Remember how he was talking, talking about, oh, hey, Justin you know, always late. Justin always late. It was know, him. Listen, I was prepping. I was working. No yeah. excuses, though. You blame it on whatever up. you want to blame it on. I know. I know. My bad. But today, I'm going to go to my office, finish up um, some of these orders, drop them off. And then at 2, I'm going to take Taja and her mom to 487. If you guys don't know about 487 from my previous vlogs, that's where it's at, for yeah. sure. So... I'm gonna get some work done and then I'll probably check in with y'all at my office, give you some updates on some current partnerships that I have going on and uh, stuff that we'll be doing this year. But yeah. All right, made it to my office. Um, just wanna catch you guys up on a few partnerships. I'm pretty sure I talked about this. So I'm working with Dove on their deodorant. I'm gonna be doing a campaign with them. I need to resend in the concept to them. Also working with Simple Human, they have like a little diaper dispenser that they sent over, which I'll unbox when I get home. So I'm doing a video with them. And also I have a partnership with Pure Protein. I don't know if you guys are familiar with them, but um, they're doing a little campaign about like the small wins and stuff throughout the day, which is great because I'm gonna start, I'm gonna incorporate it in a sense of stuff that I've talked about, get, getting like 1% better every single day and celebrating like the small wins until you get to the larger goal. Cause we always set these like large goals for ourselves, but we never really put like the steps in front of it, the small steps to get to that larger goal. So that's what their campaign is about. I have um, a couple of videos to do for them. So it's kind of like a long-term partnership. And then I'm also working with Govi, as you guys know, I don't think I showed you guys the little lights and stuff that they sent me. It's a Dune um, campaign, the movie Dune, if you guys aren't familiar with that, like they're coming out with a second one. And I am in the talks with Adobe, which still waiting to hear back from that. I'm also in the talks with Gatorade and one of the agencies that I work with just hit me up about like a men's uh, grooming campaign. I have to sound like an NDA and they'll tell me uh, which company it is. But most likely with that agency, I usually always move forward with the campaigns with them anyways. But like the first quarter has been really busy compared to like previous years. Usually like the first quarter is a little bit slower, but it seems like brands are like ramping it up um, and kind of kickstarting things. Because I was talking with like a couple of my friends who do content creation. Um, if you guys know Dio, um, Dio has been getting like uh, a lot of campaigns too. And he killed like his Ikea campaign, bro. He, he absolutely, um, did a really, really good, good job on that. If you guys haven't checked it out, make sure you guys check out Dio's page. But I think that's currently all the campaigns that I'm working on. I have one more video to do for Rockstar, but I'm waiting on my concept to get approved. And yeah, I think that's it for right now. I might be missing something, but um 
I'm excited for this, this first quarter to be busy. I wasn't anticipating that, which was why I was excited for my daughter to come during the time that she was going to come because I thought I was going to be chilling. But it is what it is. Um, you can't complain about, you know, God blessing you with stuff that you've always uh, wanted and things like that. But yeah, um, I'm about to turn on some YouTube. If you guys um, watch YouTube, and I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with Phil, um, Phil Kofer, if I'm saying like his last name right. But I watch a lot of his YouTubes and he's got one on here. I think he's like living in a tiny home right now. You can probably see right there. But like he always has a really good message on his YouTubes. Um, he always talks about God and he always kind of relates things. One second. Um, but he always just has like a good message and his journey is just inspiring. I always get inspiration from other people um, because everyone's journey is different, even though we're kind of all doing the same thing. Everybody's journey is different. Um, you can always appreciate the creativity of others. But yeah, I'm going to finish up these orders, get on these emails, try to drop off all this stuff over to um, UPS. And I think there's some USPS packages that need to be dropped off as well too. And then um, go eat pho later. But yeah, that's that. And I can't wait to get my a million subscribers plaque. So if you like these little vlogs, make sure Y'all like, subscribe, share it with y'all's friends so um, we can continue to grow the channel. But yeah, let's get to work. She already chose why you tripping. She ain't that significant. Used to have a gimmick. Glad I never went big with it. Now I got the big wig spinning. I got Tito's on the rocks and some cranberry mixed in with it. She got a one bad, one bath, and it smells like incense in it. Incense in it. I got a chick and she a bit dim with it, but she real pretty and she slim thick with it. She let the whole imprint hit it. All right, so I just finished up the orders and I want to talk about this. So I just got hit up by another company. Um, it's a company that I've worked with before. It's Dove, um, but it's with an agency that I've worked with too. So they sent over an offer. I can't tell you guys what the actual product is because it's under NDA. But they send over like a scope of work was like one TikTok and then like some usage rights and stuff like that. So when it comes to pitching yourself for like just being transparent, my rate for a TikTok um, is like $25,000 right now. And that's what I sent over um, right after I signed the NDA um, and saw like the scope of work. They want some like paid usage, which I do like $2,500 per month. Um, of paid usage. Sometimes you'll get that rate, sometimes you won't, but email them. They got back to me and said that the rate for um, what they have budget-wise is like $17,500 for the scope of work. And then obviously they'll have to get like brand approval, which I mean, if they're already reaching out, I've already worked with Dove plenty of times. I'll probably end up solidifying that. So what I'm gonna do is go back and be like, hey, just meet me at a even $18,000, like 17.5, like just come up with an extra $500 and hopefully be able to lock that in. But for me, I love negotiating back and forth with companies like on my own because of the timeliness that I'm able to get things done. And it doesn't take like a week or so to get like a, um, a deal done because of like lack of um, communication, timeliness. So this should be done depending on when they get back with like the client, however long they take, should be able to lock in the deal by like early to mid next week. But that's just like full transparency of literally, I'll show you, I can't show you like the actual people's email, but I'll zoom in on the right there. $17.5,000 is what they offered. So yeah, when it comes to content creation, like I said in my video of how like I became like a successful content creator, it's honestly just like knowing your worth and pitching that and understanding that companies aren't spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on commercials anymore. Everybody uses their phone. If they need to display a new product or something like that, they're gonna come to people like myself. So if content creation is something that you wanna do, understand that this took like years to get to, but that's not to say that it's not um, doable for you as well. It just takes time and energy um, to record your life, bring value to your audience and then grow an audience that a company feels that they're worth, you're worth paying to create content for them. They can use run on ads to target a certain demographic and also use your audience to um, drive like spending power. But yeah, that, um, and then I'm also like, the thing is with too, with like content creation, you're always waiting on companies to pay you. Like right now um, I have a payment of like $15,000 that was due on the fucking 
fifth, which they said they didn't have my W9, um, which they should have got that at the beginning of why payment was delayed. But like, I'm waiting on $15,000. So understand that too. Content creation, you get like 30, 60 day nets. I don't do 90 day nets anymore unless it's like a $100,000 campaign or something. But uh, that's something that I wanna let you guys know too, is like, you're really kind of like playing catch up. So the way that you're able to be successful in this field, um, this is just my opinion. You stack up a bunch of campaigns that all pay like at once. And then you have like $100,000 hit at once and you can just chill. And those 30 day nets really won't matter as much um, because you already like solidified and have like money in your bank account. But yeah, that's just like a tip on that. I'm going to drop off these orders on my way to pick up Taja and then, I don't know if I said that earlier, but um, yeah, so I'm about to literally, I just Instacarted a whole bunch of water because I don't have any water in my fridge anymore. And then, yeah, I'll check in whenever we go to Fa 87 and I'm also gonna bring Taja, Taja's mom, um, like some of our packing stuff because she needs like shoe bags and some travel gear. So I'm gonna gift her some of that because she's only here for a few more days and she's been a super great help um, to us during this time. It's really appreciated. And um, yeah, I'll check in whenever we go to FA. I'm um, new camera that I got, the Sony ZV-E1 with the 16 millimeter um, to 35. I really like this for the simple fact that it has that like Sony a7 III body. Um, it's a lot more like lightweight though. This lens isn't heavy. And also like the screen flips out. And that was my issue with my Sony a7 III is like the screen doesn't flip out. This does. This is a vlog camera. It doesn't even have like a, a eye hole at the top. And then it has the interchangeable lenses lens <laughs> on it that you can use. And I can use my shotgun mic on there too. One thing that I do like about this mic that's on my Sony um, ZV one is you can hear more behind the camera. This, all the audio is in front of the camera and um, I'm kind of going back and forth if I want to just put my road mic on here. The great thing about this is you can just basically clip it on the top of the hot foot and it automatically turns on with the camera. The other ones you have to plug into the side. But that's not really like a big issue. But um, that total setup, like the body was 2100 and I think the lens was like 2200. So like a $4,000 setup. If you're not looking to spend that type of money, you can get this camera that I'm on right now. I'll show you guys in like the little rear view mirror. You can see it's like a small camera that you can take anywhere. Now it doesn't have like an interchangeable lens on it. I'm trying to show you without this darkening, but it doesn't have an interchangeable lens on it, but you're able to like zoom in. So if you want, you can zoom in like that. And you guys can see the camera honestly even more like that so you can basically see the entire camera and then you're able to flip out the screen and be able to see too so it's dope i really like it um and it's only i think this camera is only like 500 bucks so you're definitely able to get a lot done it shoots 4k um and it's very very like portable so i'm probably going to use this whenever we go out with Leia just so I don't have to tote around like this larger camera but the quality on that full uh, full frame is dope but definitely look into that I think I have this camera linked on my Amazon list I'll make sure to link all that stuff on my Amazon list by the time you guys see this video but yeah I'm gonna go pick Taja and um, her mom up and Leia I got my packages and stuff in the back because I decided to do a pickup from my apartment complex I could just drop it off downstairs and they'll pick it up and it's easier that way. That way I don't have to make like two different stops, but I'm about to head out. All right, so we made it to 57. This one is already milk drunk. And we are getting our normal special, which Taj was last time we came. The crazy thing is I found this place and Carlos always comes without me. That's because she was at he be, home. Hey, he, be, he be here with his boys, first of all. You gotta put a cap on how much men can hang out with their boys because Carlos be out with his boys just being fake. So you're not gonna tell them how you was always feeling nauseous and all the rest of that stuff of being pregnant? It doesn't matter. Wow, it's crazy. <laughs> but if y'all saw my last vlog, well, it's not even my last vlog, it's, it was a while ago. And when I came here with my friend D, I get like a full time nom. Yeah, Pho Thai Nam with this uh, spicy like oxtail sauce with the um, the onions. I'll show you right here. Oh, right here. 
right there. Great. Well, that came out quick. Here it is right here. And like I said, you put the little spicy onions in there, the buffalo sauce, and it's always hitting. I get a large. She get a little regular. <laughs> You're going to be getting a little taste of this tonight with your little titty milk. <laughs> Bro, Taj is we got one of the, the best top-notch car seats that there is on the market. Tasha has a vendetta against it. She be talking about the baby don't be looking like she in there right. All these different things. So we let her get situated. You don't understand postpartum anxiety. I don't. I be anxious. Not hating. I be anxious. Okay, we'll change the term to anxious. But look, look at she peaceful. Uh, freshly fed. Don't worry, in two hours she'll be eating again. Yeah, I'll show you the little process whenever Taja's mom foods come out. Take this little, um, I guess it's steak, put it in a little um, oxtail sauce, grab some noodles, put it on the little spoon, get your onion, eat it all at one. It's lit. Of course, boy, that hoisin sauce. Uh, get a little two little, maybe three, four, five. Little rounds, switch. Or you just be going solo. There we go. Sriracha it up. This place always hits. Shout out to you for finding the place because Taja wants to take credit for finding this place, even though I found five, six different restaurants. No, they haven't been Okay, so she claims that this is a 10 out of 10, which it is. It is. And then what did I find? I found the sushi place. No, but that's like an eight. The food we had Why is yesterday. It eight? Tell them about the calorie. Oh, uh, but she didn't find that. Yes, I. Bro. Okay. I'm the one who found it. What's the definition of finding? Carlos, you're so annoying. What's the definition? I'm saying, what's you the definition never of finding? Ate it if it wasn't for me. Okay, what's the place called? Howlin. Howlin Rays. Howlin Rays. Howlin Rays. It's it's busting. I will say, it's busting. It's a ten out of ten. It's the 10 out of 10. The chicken wings is better than the sandwich. I kind of want some right now. Better than the sandwich. But she claims that she found this place. She was suggested it on TikTok. It wasn't, okay. But, it wasn't suggested. Okay. I found it. Anyways, I'm going to show you my little process real quick. Grab one. <laughs> Dip it in there. Grab you some noodles. Gotta get the noodles on there first. No, you don't gotta go in the order. <laughs> Put that on there. Well, my noodles ain't staying. Drop the noodles on there. Get your onion. Put that on there. Dunk that down. My onion fell, but that's the process. So when you come here, make sure that you do that. What's your rate this place? One through 10. Really? Thank you. It's the buffalo sauce. You know, we're gonna let, we're gonna have a competition. So mark this on y'all's little, little notes. Tasha got this restaurant. We're gonna start this from scratch. And Helen Ray. No, no, no. We're gonna start this from scratch. Yeah, you see how he be doing? He don't be wanting to give me my pre existing. This is the 10 out of 10. Next, I gotta find the 10 out of 10. And once I find that, we're gonna continue this on it's gonna be a forever. Wild. No, it's not. Because you know he from Texas. I give myself a, a week. Really Look Helen at you. Was some more. Bruh, them chicken wings? Bruh. It was good. Y'all trying to have that for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all might see Howlin' Rays for, <laughs> for dinner. I'm going to the gym, so I'm going to do the gym before, and then I'm going to hit that. It's so good. They did not lie. They it's fire. Lie. Oh, yeah, we're supposed to, me, Justin, Silas, and Jeremiah are supposed to go get tattoos on Tuesday. And I'm probably going to get her birth time. I need to figure out where I want to incorporate it, but I'm pretty sure I'll vlog that. Yeah. Remember before I had her, you was acting like you wasn't gonna clean no diapers. No, I didn't say I wasn't gonna clean diapers. No, I said I didn't know said. how. He said, he said you got it. 
We can have a danger, uh, a diaper changing competition. I don't need to do that. Boom, 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 boom. We gotta be. You got it. You got it. You got it. Nah. You're the better diaper changer for sure. Nah, she's just saying that so I can change the diapers more. <laughs> but since that's the case, that means you need practice. No, okay. Yes, you need practice. Uh, let me show y'all how I put a little car seat in there. So we got these little little things right here. Just pop them down. None of that seat belt stuff. Put it right here. Then you just slide it in there and say boom. She good to go. If you're looking for a Nuna, this the one for you. Yeah. All right, I'm back at the crib. So I'm gonna unbox this pure protein stuff. So they got pure protein. Like this is like a little vanilla shake right there. Then they also got different bars, which this, this one right here look like it's busting. What is it? Caramel churro? That looks actually busting. I might try that. Then they got a um, a brownie one, which the branding, they just switched up the branding on this. If you look at the old branding, it was not the best. And then they got, I think this is a, this is like peanut butter. Oh, chocolate peanut butter. That was good too. They also have, I think it's, um, this one is like a protein powder. It's like a whey protein powder right there. Uh, I'm not like a super huge like, protein person when it comes to doing protein shakes. So I probably won't be using that. And I swear they have like some chips. I'm gonna dig in this box real quick. Hold on. Yeah, the cheddar crackers, the ones that look like Cheez-Its. Let's see. All right. Oh yeah. These look. So they got the Pop Crisp. Like sour cream and onion right there. Them look good. Then also, look at that boy. Protein cheese its I think that's the only two flavors in here. Let's look in this larger box. I think it says it on the side what it is. Uh, I think this is the same thing, but I wonder if it's different flavors. Oh, I think this is different flavors. It's like, whoo, hickory barbecue. No cat, that's probably good too. Definitely good. And then, oh yeah, it's another sour cream and onion. But that is all the stuff that Pure Protein sent over. Like I said, this is a, uh, I think they got one more flavor. Oh, lemon cake. Lemon cake might be busting too. Um, like I said, the, the campaign centered around like, celebrating the small wins um, and whatever small win it is throughout the day, they want to help um, push you to do that. And for me, it's going to be more protein intake in the form of like the chips, the, um, the little drinks and the protein bars. I won't do the actual um, protein shake because that's not something that I do or would be doing in my normal life. So I'm not going to incorporate that. But yeah, that's all the product for them. Now I'm going to unbox this simple human diaper little thing. I don't know if it's gonna fit on screen. I might have to adjust and turn the camera that way. All right, I think this angle is as good as it's gonna get because we don't have that much space in here right now. Uh, so let's open this. But yeah, this came like right on time as far as um, them releasing the new product and it basically fits in my life pretty seamlessly. I'm gonna take this out. Toss all that paper over there. Pull that out. By the box. As you can see, look at that. Branding on point. You can see like you can push your foot down on it and it opens up. Cause the one that we have right now, like you gotta like sit here and like bend over and try to do it. But let's just take it out of the box. And if you guys aren't familiar with something human, I'm pretty sure you guys have like their trash can or something like that. But they have really great products. The little thing where I be putting my uh, my phone in it and it goes down and cleans it. That's Simple Human too. So make sure y'all check them out. A little bit on the pricier side, not gonna lie, but it's worth it because it's a uh, 
it's a great long-term investment. If you're looking to do long-term investments, that is the way to go. Find that out. Look at that. Clean. All the dirty diapers going up in here. It's an 18 liter, silent leg close, stainless steel uh, pedal right there. Let's open it up, let's see. Y'all can see right here. All right, bet. Bam. That opens up. Comes with the little, little trash bags right there. And the cool thing is, is, they usually have like a little system at the back of their trash cans where you just slide this in. Then every time it's um, being changed, you can just pull this one out and you're able to just keep refilling it. So it's dope. Let's see. So bam. There's a little container in there. Yeah, this is definitely gonna get used. Oh, forgot about this too. They got the little scent thing that you can slap in there. That way that the scent um, doesn't smell like a dirty diaper all day. But this is it. Shout out Chris, um, which he's the representative that I talked to over at Simple Human. And he thought of me as soon as they came out with this product. He's also a girl dad, so shout out him. And um, I'll be doing a Instagram reel slash syndication to TikTok for this. So if you guys want to learn a little bit more about like, you know, the benefits of it, what it does if you're a parent or if you guys, guys just want to check out their products. They definitely have a lot of cool stuff, but... Yeah, that's the unboxing on that. I'm about to get on a couple more emails and then I'm gonna go to the gym later on tonight. And that might be the end of the day for me. I don't know if I'm gonna pick up and record tomorrow. If not, that'll be the end of this vlog. Um, and then, yeah, we'll pick up on another day. One six, game. At this age, how are them man still hating? My young boy in a different country, but he ain't never been on vacation. One hand on a girl I'm dating, one hand on the cash I'm making. We come through like Funky Friday and have all your man them skating. I came in 550 on trainers. I look girl amazing, could be Bayesian, Trini or Haitian. She got a bag with flowers. If the trainers match, I'll take it. Me and bro just shut down Gucci, had the whole of the shop floor waiting. Who's that girl? In a line with a big behind us looking all tempting If her friend is a dead thing, Take one for the team with a brethren Two peng things at the entrance Want attention but a man can't let them She must think I'm a reverend You ain't coming here getting redemption No way At this age How are them man still hating? My young boy in a different country But he ain't never been on vacation One hand on a girl I'm dating One hand on the cash I'm making We come through like Funky Friday And have all of your man them 